Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. I don't know if you feel the same way about this or it's just me, but has time somehow sped up? I distinctly remember when I was in high school or college, it seems like the days would never end. I mean, I remember getting up at 10 o'clock in the morning, go to the mall, go eat lunch, go see a movie, walk out, and it's still 3 p.m. And now it feels like just a month has passed by, but we're already more than halfway through 2016. Nowadays, at least to me, a year feels like a month, a month feels like a week, a week feels like a day and a Second, what can you do in a second? Well, you'd be surprised. So here are some amazing things that happen all around the world every single second. The first thing that happens every second is related to something we all know very well, Facebook. Most people know that Facebook is a social networking site where you can chat with friends, share your photos, and connect with people across the world. And Facebook has only gotten more popular throughout the years. And now there's around 20,000 people logging onto Facebook every second. That's around a million people every minute who are slowly becoming Facebook zombies who live and die by how many people like their coffee photo. Uh, sorry. Ooh, somebody just liked my picture of a burger. Hey, that's different. It's a burger. There's bacon inside. Number two, stars. No, not these, the pretty ones. Did you know that there are actually more than 4,000 stars born every single second? That's 240,000 stars a minute. If babies were born at that speed, we'd have some problems. But luckily, the universe is infinitely vast, so we're good. You know, having lived in New York City for over a decade, I haven't seen a single star up in the sky except the sun for about that long. But wouldn't it be cool if we could actually look up at the night sky and see thousands of stars just appearing every single second? Next, speaking of things being born, let's talk about the third item on our list, babies. According to researchers, around six babies are born across the globe every second. That's about 240 per minute. And all that's popping into my head is that's a lot of smelly diapers. Number four on the list is related to a mythical figure, Zeus, and more specifically, his weapon of choice, lightning bolts. Because according to National Geographic, lightning bolts are pretty common. And about a hundred strike Earth's surface every second. What's scary is that every single bolt is destructively powerful with each containing up to 1 billion volts of electricity. That's enough energy to toast 100,000 slices of bread or send the DeLorean back to the future. Number five on this list is, well, it's you. More specifically, the human body. The human body is pretty amazing. Did you know that our body creates red blood cells which contain hemoglobin, which is what helps carry oxygen from your lungs to the rest of your body. So it's pretty essential. But cells also die off fairly quickly and needs to be replenished. And that's what your body does. It creates 2.5 million new red blood cells every second. So even if you're just laying around on the couch or playing Pokemon all day, you're still being pretty productive, sort of. Next, let's talk about money. And this one will really depress some of you. Let's say you have a job that pays $15 an hour. That means you're making about 25 cents per minute and about 0.004 cents per second of actual work. But Bill Gates, on the other hand, will be $250 richer every second you are watching this video. That's about $20 million a day. This guy is the only person in the world who could literally go to the bathroom, poo, and be about $100,000 richer when he walks out. Before we get to the next item on this list, let me ask you guys something. Do you want a Coke? How about now? What about now? If you do get the urge to open a can, don't feel bad, you're not alone. Because every single second, over 10,000 cans of the drink are consumed. And you've gotta give them props. Their ads are borderline brainwashing people. If I was in the Arctic right now and a hungry polar bear is charging at me with his mouth open, the first thing that comes to my mind would probably be, oh, that bear is just running to give me a bottle of Coke. And then Santa Claus appears with some dancing penguins. But you know what always bothered me about those commercials? Well, besides the fact that penguins, polar bears, and Santa are all bonding over an overly sweet carbonated beverage that is known to be a great toilet cleaner, I don't get how in the Arctic or North Pole or wherever they are, I don't understand how the Coke itself is not just a bottle of ice. I mean, how is that Coke still in liquid form? And finally, number eight, and this one is something dear to my heart, Food. You guys all know that I love to eat and I can really put it away. But one thing I hate to do is waste food, which is why it makes me sad that according to The Guardian, here in the US, over 4,000 pounds of food is discarded every single second. That's upsetting because that's like 
a day of food for me. But seriously, that really sucks because as we all know, there are people who are starving and in desperate need for food all around the world. And how we waste the food is also kind of crazy. It's not just people who buy a Big Mac, take a bite and throw it in the garbage, which probably happens a lot because the Big Mac is horrible now. And I'm pretty sure they shrunk it. Now it's just Mac. Sorry, I'm, I'm still pretty upset about that. Anyway, the UN estimates that 17%, but in actuality, it's more like 25% of food is wasted on the farms where they are grown because did you know that we have a sort of a beauty standard when it comes to food? For example, if a tomato looks deformed or have too many blemishes, then it's discarded, which is such a waste. Other ways foods are wasted include labeling errors on food packages, and of course, what we discard in restaurants and in our own homes. I kind of know about this firsthand because my family used to own a restaurant, it was a buffet, so whatever was not eaten at the end of the day was thrown away, and it was so much food. Also, if you want to see how much of the world's food is produced, consumed, and wasted every single single second, go to worldfoodclock.com. Really kind of puts things in perspective. I'll put that link in the description box for you guys. And guys, let me know in the comments if I'm alone on this whole, days seem to be getting really short now. And I get it, some people are like, well, you graduated school, now you're working, you're living life, so it's gonna fly by. But really, it just feels like something is off. It just feels like it, days used to be so long back then. I mean, back then I was busy, I was in school, whatever, but it didn't feel like time passed by as quickly as it does now. Let me know your thoughts, and thank you all so much for watching. See you later.